Hello, Gaming Pack viewers. This is CCAM777, co founder of Gaming Pack. You may be from my channel, you may be new, but I'm CCAM777, and this time around, I'm bringing back some NCAA Football 12 coaching carousel. And uh, this season will be with a new team. If you've been a viewer for a while that saw my last uh, coaching carousel with the Indiana Hoosiers, but this is going to be completely different. And this coach is going to be called Champ Intense. He is a very intense coach. You will see that coming throughout the season, potentially. So I was thought I would just go right ahead and explain to you about Gaming Pack. You saw, if you are a channel, if you are subscribed to this channel, you have seen Cool Eagle 99s first video. All six of us, I believe, have a, you know, a little, uh, you know, a little thing we're going to do. So... Mine is actually going to be Coaching Carousel, and I believe the others have... I don't think anybody else has NCAA Football 12, but other games are being played. So I am going to be doing a Coaching Carousel with this team you will see coming up. I'll be an offensive coordinator. But let's get right down to it. So Champ Intense is a black man. He will be uh, large, and my actually my alma mater is Notre Dame, so... Not going to screw with the Dynasty House rules. I will end up playing on Heisman five-minute quarters. And if you would like me to bump up the quarters, that's completely fine. I would just like the feedback if you would like to know what, uh, excuse me, if you would want me to change the con uh, the time at all. So let's get right down to it. Picking of the team. I already have the team locked in my head right now in the Sun Belt Division. Going to go with a low-key school with actually a great running back, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. I will be the offensive coordinator. And right off the bat, you can see that we have a two-year contract, and these goals are not very hard to do. So we're going to have a pretty easy two-year run. If I can finish by then, I'll probably be getting two years done. But anyway, let's go ahead and sign. But let's first go out and check our roster, our main components, our quarterback and such. So looking at our quarterback, we have... Kawan Jakes, a 64 overall junior, leading the squad. Bobby Rainey, uh, oh, I forget the guy's name, but a f the Florida running back's brother. Uh, our fullback, we have some decent wide receivers, a freshman, Cameron Brown, a 67 overall. And our tight end is Jack Dole, a 65 overall tight end. So let's go ahead and sign with the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And this is going to be an exciting season. Um... Hilltoppers don't have that schedule with extreme teams on it or anything, but we hope to get some decent games in before our season starts. So let's go ahead and start recruiting right off the bat. We're going to skip to recruiting and not create any scouts or prospects. I've never actually created a prospect. I think that'd be kind of cheating because you could make a lot of good players and they could just all go to your school, but never actually done it. I'm not sure if that's exactly what happens, but... You will see in this video that Western Kentucky is an impossible school to recruit with because nobody comes here. I mean, no one comes here. If you've ever seen a guy that's going, oh, I'm going to Western Kentucky to play football. Yeah, well, uh, he's right. N oh, goodness. So we're going to go ahead and, and look at some of the players we need coming up in next year. We need an outside linebacker, a middle linebacker, and a kicker. So first we're going to go after the outside linebacker. We're going to get Jeff Jones. And this guy, Andrew Lowe, who is a one-star. These guys are both one-star. You'll be seeing a lot of one-star and two-star players throughout this video that I'm attacking to see if they can come on my team. And looking at a middle linebacker, a top 10 schools, only one guy. So not starting off well recruiting, but this guy looks kind of decent. We're 10th for this guy, which is not good. But Andre Mendoza will be coming to our school. And the final position is kicker. And you know what? Kicker, there's no way we have a kicker coming to our school. And yeah, we have no kickers coming to our school. Would you look at that? So now we're going to go ahead and go to all players and just k keep recruiting from there. I mean, hopefully we can get something uh, something decent. But going to go ahead and look at the top five schools for... We only have six, so that's not very good. And there's only four guys. So we're going to have to expand a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get this quarterback, Chad Lyles, along with this quarterback, John Williams. And we will get this fullback on the bottom. We're not going to get another quarterback, so we'll get another fullback. So Lamet Alexander. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy. So we're going to expand. Oh, we actually did end up getting that last quarterback. So 
We're gonna go ahead and expand and go to top 10 schools. This will be a little easier to find some players. And would you look at that? 28 prospects. It's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and get this defensive tackle. He looks pretty solid. Not the, that's the best player we can get. So that's the best player, guys, that you're gonna see coming out of this team next year. So that's kind of stinks, but we're gonna go ahead and do our best. I mean, we'll see what happens. This is gonna be a fun ride, hopefully. And I'm pretty much just going after every prospect I can. I mean, it's the beginning of the year. Why not just go after everyone possible? So we're going to make things easier and go by position. So got this fullback already done. We're going to go ahead and get this wide receiver, Nick Casey. Going to go ahead and go, going to go ahead and get Chad Dixon. Don't have much of an offensive line choice coming up, but we do have a defensive end and a defensive, two defensive tackles we're going to go after. And and we actually didn't go after any of those, but those outside linebackers, one middle linebacker, got some cornerbacks to go after, and I believe we're almost near the end of the recruiting, so you'll see we get these two free safeties, maybe just one, get both free safeties, and I believe both strong safeties, so that's pretty much it though. And we have no athletes. So we have 20 players on the recruiting board. That's not awful, but you know the uh, CPU is going to go ahead and give us 35 somehow. You know how they do it. They just give you these random players that somehow didn't show up in your recruiting board, but they do in theirs. So let's go ahead and check out the players t that we are going to be recruiting throughout the season. Nobody is first except for that one fullback. Everybody else is third or lower, so it's going to be pretty hard. Right off the uh, right off the bat to try and recruit some decent some decent talent coming in next year, but this is going to be a long ride. Hopefully, I can lead Western Kentucky to something better than nothing. Um, I've actually played with Western Kentucky before. I do enjoy playing with them. So we're gonna go ahead and get some redshirting done. Uh, not redshirting anyone yet, but this guy Quaterio Morgan. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and redshirt him because I love this Hibbit guy who's our third string, now second string running back. He's a great player, so I'm going to go ahead and redshirt this freshman to see if he has any potential later in his career. So we've got Wes Jeffries. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and redshirt anybody coming up here. Let's see if we can get anybody here. And not there. Nobody coming to mind. Uh, no, well, there we go. We're going to go ahead and red redshirt this defensive tackle. Uh, we can't redshirt anybody there. Can't redshirt anybody there. We're not going to redshirt anybody there. And we're going to go ahead and redshirt Eric Arberry because in our defense, I don't believe we have two guys. Excuse me. Two. Co we only have two cornerbacks playing. He's the third, so it doesn't really matter. So that's pretty much it. And now we're going to go ahead and check out our schedule for the upcoming season. But besides that, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, so let's go ahead and check it out. We have a C-minus schedule. Not going to change anything, but we are playing at Kentucky versus Navy, FCS Midwest. Then we get into our oh, tough schedule coming up in our conference. Just kidding. It is easy. But it's only easy. It looks easy. But these teams could be decent, and our best team we're going to be playing is LSU. That could get rough. Not sure what's going to happen there, but... It's pretty much going to wrap up the video now. Please, if you are interested in continuing, please subscribe to Gaming Pack if you are a CCAM777 subscriber. So thank you for watching all. More vids will come to you soon. See ya.